at a time of global economic upheaval. If you have the money, this, this is a place to put it. The wise investor seeks a secure environment. Yes, it's a free trade zone, uh, and uh, here is a security and a, uh, the, and a good envir environment. With safer, smarter investments. This is a state that is home to most of um, solid minerals that you can find anywhere in the world. In Cross River State of Nigeria. It's a young state, it's a growing state, and uh, the opportunities are endless. This is an investor's haven, I think it's the next frontier. Fantastic place to do good business. Join a new generation of investors. The state is so rich in tourism assets and potential. Uncovering new investment routes. There will be quite a good amount of investment to be be poured into uh, Cross River State. And business friendly incentives. Because this here is a free zone, and normally a free zone, huh, is, is, that means when you tell a free, is a free for everything. With tax holidays, free trade zones, and 100% profit repatriation. We feel quite comfortable in this sense. There's a very good market. Welcome to the new investor's destination. We think we've put Cross River State from the branding point of view on the global map. Cross River is a state that's hungry for development. Um, it's a state that is in urgent need to surpass um, other economies within the sub-region. After years of meticulous planning, accompanied by massive infrastructural development and enabling government policies, Cross River State has come of age and is transforming the investment landscape in Nigeria. Cross River State has, is the most secure state in Nigeria. Uh, Cross River State has one of the cleanest, uh, about the cleanest environment in Nigeria. Cross River State is home to an international airport, a seaport, and the road access to uh, Cross River State is excellent. From tourism, hospitality and retail, to agriculture, solid minerals and manufacturing, Cross River State is becoming the modern face of global investment in Nigeria and West Africa, attracting investors from around the world, keen to bring in more. We've seen the privatization of assets um, in the agriculture sector, government assets, and those privatized assets are doing well. Um, with um, the number of um, our plantations uh, now um, revived and uh, processing of oil palm, processing of a number of rubber and a number of other activities that are ongoing um, as a result of this uh, improved uh, environment. With around 18,000 square kilometers of arable land suitable for cultivation, agriculture is one of the sectors that's been given high priority by the government. We've got rubber, palm produce, um, cocoa, plantains, bananas. There's just such huge landmass here that um, whatever it is you want to invest. Agriculture employs around 70% of the workforce in Cross River State and contributes around 30% to the gross domestic product. Private sector investment in modern infrastructural tools, fertilizers, seeds and agrochemicals, as well as in food processing, would greatly improve on this. The state government has put in place certain incentives to ensure that investors who have the resources who are coming from outside the state have easy access to land. And we know, I've told you, we have a lot of it. Once you have identified the land that is suitable for the type of enterprise you want to engage in. Government would assist in the acquisition. Vast deposits of solid minerals abound across the length and breadth of Cross River State. Many can be found nowhere else in Nigeria. Most remain untapped and are open to investors who want to mine and process them. Cross River State has the best limestone quality in Nigeria and is home to um, the largest limestone deposits. Uh, it's also home to barites, granites and all of that. With mining companies exempt from most taxes, several international companies are now engaged in the exploitation of solid minerals in Cross River State. One of the biggest investors is Unisem, which operates Nigeria's second biggest cement factory. 
Since it began operations in 2009, Unisem has grown to become the leading supplier of cement in southern Nigeria, producing around 2.5 million tons per year. Operations manager Leo Cotti says it's been well worth the $500 million investment. Yeah, one, one reason is for sure that uh, here we have the limestone, which, which, which is one of our uh, major raw materials. The other reason is that in this region there, is no cement, there has been no cement plant until now, so uh, the market is there. And in Nigeria we know that the market is growing. No question about it, Cross River State is Nigeria's leading tourist destination and a much sought after location in West Africa. It's also one of the most eco-friendly states in the subcontinent and is surrounded by huge rivers, scenic mountains, tropical rainforests and unsullied beaches just waiting to be developed. Cross River State is a, it's, it's actually we're very proud to say the greenest and the cleanest um, state in Nigeria is also the safest state in Nigeria and there's so much I mean whatever it is you're looking for if you want to invest in tourism the potentials are huge. The mountains around the Abuda Ranch Resort offer some of the most spectacular and panoramic views in the West African subcontinent much of which can be viewed whilst taking an amazing ride on Africa's longest cable car. The Abuda Ranch itself is a striking combination of the old Africa as it used to be before the coming of the Europeans and modern 21st century architecture. The Obudu Mountains uh, offer cool climate in the tropics which is very rare uh, with um, the cable car, the water park and um, of course the winding road that is um, second to none in all of Africa. Further south and often described as a landmark symbol of Cross River State, the Calabar Carnival has become one of the most recognizable features of the month-long Christmas festival. It's called Africa's greatest, biggest and greatest street party. Um, when His Excellency Senator Lee Ali Moke came in, the mandate we had was to turn it from just a regular carnival into a big commercial event, which is what we're trying to do. And uh, the people are bought into it. Gradually, you're beginning to see the commercial components of it. Every December, the carnival attracts nearly two million local and international visitors, as well as private sector investment. In each year, um, since I came into office, the, the, the Calabar Carnival and uh, the, the, the Calabar Festival um, have grown um, in terms of um, diversity of offerings, in terms of uh, the audience it attracts, uh, in terms of um, uh, just the general appeal. Um, those festivals have become uh, international products for us. With the number of visitors to Cross River State set to increase significantly, hotel beds have tripled in the last two years due to high demand. And there's room for more. With a very short span of time, in the last one and a half year, we were able to uh, cater the need of a particular niche clients, whereas they, if they look for an alternate and an upmarket uh, place to stay, we are catering the need. So I'm, I'm happy that, yes, we are going in the right direction. With more direct investment coming in, tourism in Cross River State is seen as a major growth area that will expand the economic base increase foreign exchange earnings, and provide more employment opportunities. The supply chain for tourism is ginormous. It includes so many different subsectors. And so there's a lot of opportunity for growth and for employment increases here. So that's why they've uh, decided to focus on tourism. Plus, the state is so rich in tourism assets and potential. We've also seen uh, opportunities in Tinapa um, for trading with, with, um, with um, the provision of uh, appropriate regulatory framework. Um, we're addressing the challenges of infrastructure. Uh, so for private sector, there's tremendous opportunity in retail trading. With the development of the Tinapa business resort into a free trade zone, the retail sector is seen as one of the biggest future growth markets in Cross River State. International companies that have set up here, like T-Mart, have been rewarded with growing returns. It's been very, very good for us because still we have officially not had a grand opening of T-Mart. We haven't officially opened the store yet, we haven't had our grand opening, so everything pretty much is word of mouth and we've had some really good business. The government hopes that massive infrastructural development, a free trade zone, as well as vigorous investment promotion activities will provide serious incentives 
and help attract more investors to Tinapa. The, the Tinapa Business Resort is waiting a lot of investment in terms of the opportunities that are out there from, from housing to the, to the shops that are still waiting to be taken. The, the huge malls and the, 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 the number of line shops. And to add to that, we also have, I would say, one of the best TV movie production facilities in West Africa, which has just recently uh, been commissioned and, and we're expecting a lot of movies to come in here. We believe that these are some of the areas we can have our investors you know, come in and begin to play a role. Today, the Cross River State Government is putting in place ever more business-friendly strategies and policies which are helping to create the right environment for investment. Policies such as providing security and infrastructure, as well as a tax regime that encourages investment and entrepreneurship without hindrance and within secure free trade zones. Some of the incentives that you have in a free trade zone is that uh, one, you, ha you can own your, your factory, of course, 100% ownership is allowed. You can repatriate your profits. Uh, you enjoy uh, tax holidays. And then there are other tax incentives that are available for the free trade zone. To ensure that the biggest logistical challenges to investment are delivered without a hitch, the government has created this one-stop investment centre. So that uh, investor, if he wants to invest, he basically goes to that government shop and he gets all information regarding the fees, the registration, till the commissioning of the details. Just step in into and come back with a smile with all information right there on your hand. And you don't have to run around to you know, or you know, to slog to get all the information pertaining uh, the information you require to open a, a business. Gerald Adda is in charge of the One Stop Investment Centre as well as investment promotion. It's his job to think around the corners of an investment legacy that reaches across the world. Because I said, as far as I'm concerned, it's a very attractive place to invest in. Uh, what we have done as part of our strategy really has been to try to link up with our foreign missions. Okay, we also engaged with um, foreign missions in Nigeria. Um, we, we have a very close relationship with the British uh, 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 Trade Desk. In addition to developing the One Stop Investment Centre and reaching out to a new world of international business, a big plus for new investors in Cross River State has been the setting up of virtual corporate offices in the capital Calabar, a sort of office away from the office, tailored to requirements and aimed at making the state more business friendly. It saves you the time of going out to look for your own office space, um, for initial office. So we have everything here complete for you, internet facilities, set of the art business support service for you. Those who have used it say it offers an international standard work environment without the overhead costs. You can have a working space for a month, a day, three months, six months, as the case may be, and it just meets your costs and everything is already set up for you and you just go walking, you know, you hit the ground running. As the world of investment has become more interconnected, so has Cross River State become more connected to the world. Within the last three years, Cross River has become one of West Africa's foremost emerging markets, presenting a compelling growth opportunity to investors. With its vast tourism and agriculture potential, colossal mineral deposits and free trade zones, the economy of Cross River State is expanding rapidly and there are rosy predictions for future demand. We've seen uh, the number of investors uh, that have come in to the Calabar free trade zone increasing year on year. That's very, very encouraging. Uh, right now, the free trade zone um, the authority is requesting for additional land, okay, because they do not have enough land to meet the demand um, from investors. For investors ready to explore new routes, Cross River State could be the best place to look. Places like Tinapa and all this, which is basically an economic, uh, say, a free zone, where you come and you basically get a lot of uh, tax benefits and, and investment benefits, probably would be a hub in future. So I see a very good prospect in coming years. It's just a matter of time.